here is the tour of our 2008 Holiday Rambler Vacationer. The door's hard to open. <laughs> Sophie! The first thing when you come in, you'll notice it has a ton of storage and a TV. These curtains here, we are ordering gray ones though because they are a little old, a uh, little old tattered. Um, up front, uh, it's kind of a little counterintuitive. In the very front of the bus, you actually have the generator, which you start right here. And that's what we currently use to power any of our 120 volt stuff. Um, but eventually what we plan to do is um, get solar on this similar to Buster and also get a similar size inverter that Buster had. So that way we have the generator more as a backup or when we're doing like a heavy load like the air conditioners. And for anything other than that, we can just use the inverter. We're also in the process of yeah. ordering we, a screen to put up here to hang for movie nights. Yeah, and then we can basically put our projector uh, right in this area. And um, so that'll be basically the big screen for when we really want to... Um, watch a movie or TV show or something that we're really into, or game night or whatever. As you can tell, this has a lot more space than Buster, our school bus. This entire side from here to here is a slide out. What do you think, Sophie? Yeah, she just really seems to like that she's got a lot more room to run around. A lot more room and, to play. Uh, and also, I think that um, we're, we're trying to be minimalistic, but I think in some ways we weren't as minimalistic as we, as thought. we thought or needed to be. Um, to be able to fully go tiny. Um, yeah. I mean, I guess this would still be easily considered going tiny or whatever, but, um, really for us, it's more, everything is more of a side grade or just, it's more just an upgrade in size is the main thing that this was. Plus it gives us an opportunity to get something and kind of make it our own style wise, uh, which we're excited about. So we're going to be talking through today while giving you a tour, some of the upgrades and renovations we're going to make. We're doing a pretty light upgrade and working with what we've got. Like our cabinets, we're not going to paint. We're just changing out the hardware, which the new hardware, there is a little bit of it in the bedroom. So you'll get to yeah, see we'll that. I'll show you an example back there. <laughs> but um, we are not painting them. We are painting the walls though, as you can see. Some of it's this really ugly muddy wallpaper and some of it's this. I think that's plants or flowers on there. It's like flowers. Yeah, not entirely sure. Um, but the cab area is pretty much where we keep all of our stuff that we Just will like need. Just like day-to-day stuff, like shoes, bags that we carry out every day. Tissues that need um, to go back in my car, that kind of thing. So when you walk in here, the first thing you will see is our slide out. This couch, we might end up replacing, but right now we really like it because it has a full fold-out bed inside of it. As you can see up here, lots of space above it. These valances we're, we're considering. We're keeping our books and whatnot right yep. now. We're going to organize that better later. <laughs> <laughs> we're still moving in. We've been picking up today, doing dishes today, as you can see, that kind of thing. Um, but these valances, we're thinking about having recovered. We just truly hate this material, but the valances do provide a lot of privacy. privacy and I think it's a little bit better on um, just efficiency as far as holding in warm or cold air. Um, around the edge of the curtains too. So we actually found a textured gray material at Walmart last night. Yeah. Gonna see if that'll work. And actually what it is, is the material which we found was a lot cheaper than trying to specifically buy mater t material. Was, <laughs> you having a hard time saying that. <laughs> um, shower curtains. So if it works, so, um, saved a lot of money. That, that's kind of a quick tip or whatever. If you need to get material, but you need to get something that's cheaper and you need to have a lot that matches, you can potentially look at shower curtains and things like that and see if anything there works for you too. Here we have our jack and knife couch. Yeah. So this one just kind of will come out like this. Um, it's uh, not super comfortable. No, it's not super comfortable. Um, honestly, uh, you could just lay on it regular and it would be about the same, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it gives you an option, I guess. And we have picked out a wall color, though, which you will see we started painting a little bit of it in the bathroom. Yeah. So um, it doesn't look great right now because it's got mostly just one coat on. Um, and but, it has the coat that we decided, or the color we decided to go against underneath yeah. it. <laughs> so, um, and so the main reason we're doing the tour now is because we realized, oh, well, we're starting to do a few little things, but we need to get a tour of basically the RV as is to basically have more of a before, so that way we can compare and do an after afterwards. 
So in here, as you can see, we have a bunch of storage. We have a pretty good sized sink and I love that it's separated. It makes washing dishes much easier. I just wash dishes so it's really wet. We are gonna be changing out the sink fixtures. Yeah, a lot of the appliances and things are black, so we're going to be adding a little more um, black hardware and that type of stuff. We're thinking about going black on the sink, black on the... The door handles. Uh, the door handles, bathroom sinks. Black on the hardware. Um, so we, we think that it'll all kind of come together a little bit better with that. As you can see, we don't have a normal oven. We have a convection oven slash microwave, which actually has worked good so far. And um, show them the pizza stone. Yeah, yeah, and I got a pizza stone that perfectly fits the size in here too. So that way, we notice that this thing right here, um, just because of the type of material it is, it, it will kind of trap the moisture in between what you're baking. Or it whatever. ruined one of our pizzas. So um, that pizza may have already been ruined. <laughs> it, I think it got a little bit of water in it or something. But then it's like you could never dry it out either. So um, this will kind of just give it a little bit more porous material for some things to sit on. So between that and between this and between, um, sometimes I've even used the cast iron pan in here too. Um, if you just need almost like a baking type pan or something, that's what I also did in the bus when I made cookies or whatever it is, I would use the cast iron pan. It works just like a regular oven. And then down here you have the stove and lots of kitchen storage. This little ledge right here is also super helpful to create a little bit more cabinet space, or I'm sorry, counter space. Yeah, a little chopping area if you need, or uh, just extra place to set something while you're cooking, whatever, it's kind of nice. And you got, it's also kind of an appliance uh, ledge too, because you have the uh, outlets right below. Over here we have, this is kind of a little junk corner currently. We have a balance that we took off. Jordan's having to take those down to paint and also to give to the seamstress to see if she is able to recover them for us. But here's our little dinette area. You can see the couple that had this before us, they matched the dinette chairs yes. to the balances. It's, it's hard to say. This, I mean, this RV may have been one that was specially ordered or this may have just been standard at the time. It's hard to say, but they, they did like match surely the chairs this wasn't with standard. the uh, Hopefully not. The, balances or whatever but um the blinds that came with the rv we actually like but they are kind of older um and showing their age the more we use them so we may yeah. some of them don't fold up quite like they should or some of them have a couple little spots on them and so we're we're looking at um e either eventually changing them out or whatever but we can only do so many things at one time as you guys can see when i back up back to the back of the room there is a lot of space in here it's a very rare setup for an RV to have two couches across from each other, which is the main reason we decided to buy this one. It's really nice for guests or whatever. Um, having guests over, like it was really nice when we had Harper hanging out or um, just to have plenty of room to sit and hang out and not just have one couch. And then also to have the Dyna over here to provide extra chairs. And um, this little cute foldable coffee table came with the RV. We might actually keep that because it's yeah. been, it's not that bad looking. Yeah, it, it looks a little dated, but at the same time, it's like, very functional so, <laughs> maybe um, we can paint it or something yeah, yeah. but down here you have an area where a washer dryer will go right now we just have our instant pot down there and some uh like, knickknacks <laughs> uh, the... back here is already hookups for washer dryer which we won't have to add which is really nice up here is more storage there's a ton of mirrors i'll show them your, in this RV. your label oh yeah jordan uh and i we ordered a label, label maker um because we've been talking trying to figure out the best way so this is morgan's snacks <laughs> <laughs> and then the coffee there, tea stuff goes up there, there. Tea, you know um, get the embossed label maker it actually yeah. looks pretty classy so let's take them into the bathroom we can tell them about our paint let's fiasco the, oh yeah let's show them the fridge, fridge and the pantry and the fridge kind of like before it's about more of a three-quarter size fridge which is nice um this one runs both off of 120 volt or um propane so. Show them the pantry. Oh yeah, and then you got kind of the slide out pantry. The pantry is not quite as big as the pantry in the bus, as far as like thickness goes, or maybe even pull out length. But um, it's still quite a bit of storage, and then um, you can also end up using uh, like we also kind of basic basically made that part of the pantry as well. In here, you can see this is the only room we started to paint, even though, well, we've added a little bit right here, but that's not even one coat. Just to see how it would look with countertops. So the first color was this, like, gray color. And believe it or not, this is actually a light gray, but it looks white compared to that gray. But in the yeah. bathroom is the only room we've started doing it in. As you can see, Jordan has a lot of painters taped down for me. On the swatch, the first gray looked like a light gray. It was not. But then when we not. painted it, it looked much, much darker than we were trying to 
The bathroom is actually a pretty good size. Here is the vanity. Yeah, the vanity with the medicine cabinet above it. Um, the shower is uh, pretty nice. In the RV, we kind of have the shower separate from the toilet. Which is really nice to not have a wet bath. The skylight in the RV is over the shower. Which is um, so nice. This is just kind of your standard RV toilet with some storage above it and storage under the sink to the right. And mm -hmm. a fan in here as well. Good storage. Having a fan in the bathroom is a great idea. Like Buster, this RV has a 100 gallon fresh water and a, I believe it's a 65 gallon gray and a 35 gallon black, I believe. It's got a lot of room yep. for everything. And it's off grid just like Buster, just in different ways but until we get the solar there. Yeah, we're wanting it to be similar ways just to be a little bit greener and maybe save a little more money in the long term with adding solar and uh, the inverter. But there's no like major push to do it because um, we are technically off grid as is. We would just want to do that in the future. We are also changing these out today. Already ordered that. We're going to do something about this window. Still figuring that out because our guests don't have any privacy when they shower. Yeah, we're wanting to get rid of this though. We bought some, um, I guess what's it called? It's almost like a frosted window. I'm going to kind of make this more of a black or gray frosted window that can't really be looked through. So, so hopefully that works out good. This is our bedroom. It's oh. actually very spacious for an RV. We and have this is with the slide outs out. There's a slide out on each side. So when they're both in slide out, the bed would actually be against the closet over here. We have so much closet space. This is kind of where the hanging things go. It's incredible. Um, there was a TV here. We pulled that out and Jordan is going to put more of an a... old style TV. Um, so I'm going to, I had taken that off. I'm going to find some way to put something behind here and basically mount a Get out flat the trash screen can, Sophie. on the front of it. And um, the hope is to also then maybe cut a hole over here. That way we can access behind the TV for electronics and storage and that kind of stuff. So that's kind of the plan. Hopefully it works out like I think it will. We have a ton of storage. Hello. Well, I want to show them what the new uh, <laughs> hardware will look like. Yes. Oh, yes. This is our new hardware. Doesn't it look nice? Yeah. So, so excited. So basically, every handle throughout the entire place will have these as opposed to these. Um, and then when we change these, then there's other things that kind of match with this that we'll also have to change out over time just so that way it all kind of coordinates a little bit better. So as you can see, that's the slide out there. Jordan and I each have a little oh, I already took counter. down the headboard here too. <laughs> you can kind of see the design. There was a hideous hair, uh, it, headboard there. It's basically the there. same uh, patterns that's on the... Um, on the valances. Yeah. They did more color coordinating and fabric coordinating. But the, I just noticed the, the valances in, in the bedroom have this... Uh, fabric. Yes, it's different. different. It's, believe it or not, more hideous than that of the living room, <laughs> which is honestly depressing me a little bit, so we're trying to get that fixed as yeah. quick as possible. But tons of storage in here. It really is great for a tiny house uh, living situation. Tons of storage. In the very back, Hello. it's got the breaker panel up here, just as far as technical stuff goes. Got a desk in the back. Oh yeah, this is something I really um, wanted to show. Can you pull the desk up? We were, at one point we were thinking about maybe making this more of an additional closet, but I think we might now use it as a really desk. Sure. We may just kind of leave it more the way that it is. These chairs came with the RV. We're trying to sell them if anyone wants them. Uh, let's see. So this pops out. It could be another dinette area. It could be a desk, really, whatever you want it to be. It's really neat. And back here, these are some just clothes we haven't put away yet because we haven't finished organizing and putting things where we want them to go. There we go. So a leg basically comes down and creates a desk. And we're probably going to paint it, but it's it's pretty nice. It's especially when you really need a desk. <laughs> yeah, and it'll be nice because, uh, you know, one person can use a dinette, another person can maybe use this if we both have to work. Watch out for Sophie. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we got her toy. She says it's playtime, not uh, not work. Yeah. Oh, Sophie, honey, hey, come Sophie. here. Boo. I know. Come here. Come here. This is really encouraging because in our schoolie, she never had like such a big space to play in definitely got a little bit more room to run and play and that kind of stuff so we're excited about that so really we bought this rv surely for our dog oh yeah oh yeah she pretty much influences every decision that we make but yeah so that's pretty much the rv but we're excited um because it's it's only a 2008 so it's not that old um only, only 30, 30 000 miles, miles on it when we got it um the stuff that we're doing to it is pretty the most expensive thing will be mostly changing pretty the minor and cosmetic um so 
uh, the, the biggest thing will be we're wanting to tear up the uh, carpet, uh, laminate or not vinyl, laminate, vinyl flooring throughout the uh, the RV. So we're excited about that. And we're painting, which is pretty cheap, changing out these lights, of course, just because they're a little dated, changing out the hardware. We did all 64 pieces of hardware for $56. And it's interesting because some of the styling in it I thought was perfectly fine. And other styling things in it, we we just thought were very, like, weren't even necessarily stylish in 2008 or whatever. But the people um, who had it thought it was. Yeah. Aww. Or maybe they didn't. Then they... <laughs> so we've already picked out some new things, like we bought this new hamper to go with it. But the chairs, obviously, we're getting rid of. And so on and so forth so thank you guys so much for following and uh keeping up with us as we change our name from the school abode to the traveling abode yep. and thank you so much for watching and sophie can't wait to see you next time yep say bye sophie bye sophie look at mommy bye it's playtime <laughs>